dear friends, considering that there have been quite a number of questions about Lambretta that have entered the TMC blog, it is with this background that this article was born. Frankly, personally very interested in this Lambretta V200 special after seeing in physical contact at the exhibition yesterday. I prefer the V200 special, okay? Let's just try to peel off the physical impressions of the Lambretta V200, which has just been launched here for a few days. At the same time, we try to discuss what are the differences between these two identical automatics. Similar but clearly not the same, is the right sentence to answer the majority of the questions asked. Yes, many have compared this Lambretta with Vespa since it was first launched. Actually, the idea of the design is a reborn form of the old Lambretta scooter. Likewise with the modern Vespa design. So it will still be thick with the feel of an old European scooter. Speaking of body materials, Lambretta combines iron plate material with thick plastic. Still the majority use an iron plate because the chassis is a semi-monocoque type. While the parts that use plastic material are only on the front fender and the right and left rear body uses plastic material. I was quite surprised because the plastic material is hard and thick, so even when I tap it with my hand, the body feels solid. Oh yes, this V200 special product is production. So the matter of selecting materials and built quality is a sector that stands out and makes this motorbike feel special. Meanwhile, the engine part is still a question mark, because it hasn't been able to be tested yet. Considering that this machine is a production product that is well known for its good performance and the quality of the engine innards is quite good. Regarding details and finishing, this beautiful Lambretta is superior to its competitors, which were first present on the market. As long as I paid attention at yesterday's exhibition, it seemed that there were no defects in the units presented, both for the variant, especially the 200cc one. Equally good in terms of quality, finishing and details on the whole body of this motorbike. Original. The LED headlamp with the presence of the Lambretta emblem in the middle gives the V200 Special a luxurious impression. The handlebar cover is also very neat and the design is like a meeting point of balance between old and modern designs. Very slick, considering the designer of this motorbike is design. Meanwhile, the front turn signal is located on the front right and left and has used three full LED points. The steering area is very minimalist. The switch buttons are neatly arranged on the right and left with an easy reach of the thumb. The angle of the steering handlebars also feels right, it's still similar to automatic entry-level brands in general, and the height of the handlebars seems a little lower than the Vespa. One thing that we note, it seems that the owner who just got a scooter must first adapt to the hand grip that feels thick on this Lambretta.
Behind the front deck there is also a storage drawer for goods. Even though there is, the compartment is not too wide, big so it is only enough to store small items such as gloves. Even drinking bottles can't get into this compartment, friend. Uniquely, in the middle there is a plastic cover that is easy to open to check the VIN or frame number if needed during a physical check at the SAMHSA, the advantage is that the motorbike looks neat and clean. Slightly towards the stern of the motorbike, the Lambretta V200 seats are identical both in terms of shape and also the seat motifs. About the seat is soft and the leather material is very smooth. It feels right when sitting on it, the buttocks are firmly planted, not afraid to slide forward, because apart from the flat pattern on the seat, it is also designed to be anti-slip. Plus, the details of the Lambretta logo on the right side of the seat give this motorbike a luxurious impression. Check the trunk, it's not bad for a half-face helmet. But what makes it Salfok is the detailed material behind the seats and also the luggage area. If you look at it from the outside, it looks like this motorbike doesn't have rear braces, but in fact it does, bro. Hidden behind, under the seat with a luxurious design and the design looks like it's really seriously laid out. It looks easy to clean, there are minimal insulation or gaps in the trunk. Not to mention the gas tank cap which has its own lock. It's also funny, even though the tank is under the seat but the tank lid uses a lock. This feature can be found in both engine variants and 200cc. Switch to the back of the Lambretta. The taillights are full LED with a modern retro shape and blend with the turn signal, winker which is also LED. It's really sexy when you look at it from behind, it feels like that. 